Welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Greg, and today I'm going to continue my Shamrock selection of candy. In 2019, we made eight flavors for the variety pack, and we sold out weeks before St. Patrick's Day. The flavors are apple, barm brack, Irish coffee, chocolate stout, foam toffee, clover honey, vanilla whiskey, and Irish cream. And we've been asked, what is barm brack? We pour the candy on the candy cooling table to let it cool and to get down to a consistency that it will hold the shape when we put it through the rollers. This batch has no coloring in it because we're gonna make it white and we can do that on the candy pulling machine. So when I was making this assortment, we kept on getting more orders so I added more flavors for more variety and so we could make more candy. This is actually the largest assortment we've ever made. And when I did this, I wanted flavors that would invoke Ireland in my mind. Now, my Irish mind comes from growing up in Brooklyn and the Irish immigrants who live there. And one of the things I remember is every year in Halloween, people made barmbrack. Let me start off by apologizing if I mutilated the pronunciation of barmbrack. I grew up in Brooklyn and all of the descendants of the Irish immigrants had Brooklyn accents, not Irish accents. The cake was wonderful, it came out around Halloween, and it's a flavor that I remember and I associate with my Irish neighbors. It was a cake with dried fruit in it. Doing research, I used the fruits they used in New York, which may not be the fruits they used in Ireland. My neighbors used raisins and dried cherries, as I remember, and that's the flavor I try to invoke in this piece of candy. Now we're gonna take the hot sugar that's cooled to a clay-like consistency, and we're gonna put it on the candy puller. I use the puller when the batches are bigger, and this is a 25-pound batch. It's a bit bigger than I'm comfortable pulling on the candy hook. And this is gonna fold air into the candy, and all the millions and millions of air bubbles are gonna reflect light and turn the amber into a bright white. Well, sort of an off-bright white. The flavoring I used has a little bit of coloring to it. I was trying to figure out why this came to mind, Bombrock that is, and then I realized it was because it was Mardi Gras and I was thinking about king cakes. King cakes in the Mardi Gras tradition have a little baby baked in it, and if you find that little ceramic baby in your piece, it means next year you have to buy the cake. Bombrock traditionally has a ring baked in it, and the person who found that was supposed to have a year of good fortune. Actually, if you go back far enough, that ring meant you'd get married in the next year, and there were other things baked into different pieces. A piece of cloth to show that you were going to lose money, a coin that you were going to find money. It was a future predictor for both good and bad luck. Well, we're going to take the ring tradition, and I've made about a dozen of these little candy rings, and they'll be randomly put into bags. I thought it was an interesting way of carrying the tradition forward into the bags of candy. If you missed out on this assortment pack, there are two things coming up. One, after St. Patrick's Day, we may have some extra inventory and they'll go on our website, www.pd.net. Please check it out. Also, if we get enough feedback in the comments here, we'll run one of the flavors again. The blue one, the whiskey vanilla, seems to be the most popular one that people are interested in. But if they're interested in another flavor, I'll do a solid pack of one flavor if there's enough interest. If you're interested in a flavor, just comment it in the comments for this video. The other thing you should do is sign up for our email list. You're on it already if you placed an order with us, but if you're not on it, you can go to our website, www.pd.net, and sign up. When we put up a limited edition, we send out a note, and you'll find out about this before everyone else. If you missed out on some of the things we're doing here and you want to find out more details about what we're doing, this is the third in a series of Shamrock videos, and that information is on the early ones and I'm trying not to repeat myself. Now all that's left to do is to break up the Shamrocks into little individual pieces, and we do this by dropping them. I mean, why else do they call this type of candy drops? And there we have it, my impression of Barm Brock in hard candy. It actually takes a lot of time to blend the full selection of colors together. And we do this on the table as well, just because we don't have a bigger surface around the shop. We've also been asked what those little white slips are in the candy. Those are little desiccant packs. They keep the candy dry in the buckets and make sure they don't get sticky. They're food safe and they make the product better for the customer. Thank you for watching. If you're ever coming through Tallahassee, we're right off I-10 at the Thomasville Road exit. We're open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. We make candy lots of days, but not every day and not all the time. And if you're lucky, you can catch us making hard candy. You can also get our candy at www.pd.net online, and you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you want to find out about our latest videos, not only subscribe here, but click that little alerts button here on YouTube. Thank you for watching. We do appreciate it.